What's up guys, Andy here with another episode of Tap Lab, and today I'm going to show you how to remove a keyboard from your iPhone. So this is for if you have like a bunch of keyboards and you just want to get rid of them. Sometimes they don't work well and it's annoying how they switch back and forth when you're trying to do emojis and stuff. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of them. If you don't know how to add a keyboard, I recently did a video on how to do the Bitmoji keyboard, so you could check that out. That's like an overview of how you could add one. I'll link it below. But first I'll show you the keyboards. So down in the bottom left there's this globe icon and I can tap on that. And then I could tap like ABC and then it, you see where it gets weird uh, when you're trying to navigate. And then I can tap on the globe or I can hold down on the globe. And then access the Bitmoji one, but we're just going to say I want to get rid of this Bitmoji one because I don't want it on here anymore. It's annoying. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to general. I'm going to scroll down to keyboard. And then I'm going to tap on keyboards on the top. And from here we could tap edit and hit the minus sign for Bitmoji. Or we could swipe left on it and hit delete. And now that keyboard has been deleted, all these other ones I want to keep. Go back. Then I'm going to go to my messages. And you can see that that globe icon is no longer there anymore. And the keyboards are no longer there. So it's just a smooth transition between my emojis and my keyboard. Which is how I like it. Nice and simple. So there you have it, how to remove a keyboard on your iPhone if you don't want it anymore. Be sure to drop a comment down below if you have any questions and I'll try and answer them. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one. Also, I'm going to link my other social media down below so you can check them out. I'll see you guys next time.